All right. Uh, you know, we've got another challenge this week. Um, it's going to be a big challenge with uh, injuries. We've got quite a few guys banged up coming out of that old Miss game that uh, probably were as injured as we've been all year now. So we've got a lot of things to overcome there. Uh, Jamias Williams will be out for the rest of the season. He has a torn meniscus in his knee, so he'll have surgery. Um, and uh, we will play Roy Lopez this week, and uh, Sage will play this week. So uh, get those guys back. But we've got some other things we're going to have to deal with. Injury guys are going to be tough, and we're playing a good football team. So um, tremendous challenge for our players. But uh, you know they played really hard last week, played physical, hit Ole Miss really hard. and. Uh, you know, love the character of our players and uh, just got to go try to see if we can play well enough to get a win this week and uh, get that monkey off their back. So I know they're all looking forward to that and getting back out to practice today. And uh, so we'll move forward. Any questions? Initially, Coach, were you trying to hold off Roy for the final two? And did it change because of Jemias? Yeah, it, it's the Jemias right now. I mean, we're we're so beat up in there right now. We really have to get him back in the game. And, and then uh, we played uh, Lava Leve, uh down at Ole Miss, and he's going to have to play some now as a true freshman. And uh, but we'll still be able to redshirt him because of the uh, new redshirt rule. But yeah, we're really depleted inside right now defensively. Did you take some of the new injuries or just guys getting? Yeah, there's a lot of new injuries from the Ole Miss game, and I don't want to mention them specifically because of you know I don't want to give things away to our opponents and everything. But it's a lot of key players are hurt right now, so we we got some issues. What do you think of Incarnate? Yeah, they basically run our offense, yeah. which is what we have not been this year. Um, you know, we've not been able to be our offense this year. We're 50-50 run pass for the season right now, which is not where we need to be to win. I know everybody wants us to be that. That's not where we need to be to win. We threw it 49 times a game in 2017, won a lot of football games, won a bowl game. That's where we need to be, but we haven't been able to, to get there because of injuries and other things this year. Um, but they do a great job throwing the ball. The quarterback's really good. He's very accurate. Uh, they do a great job throwing the fade ball. Uh, they mix things up on you a lot. Um, you know, they'll run it occasionally when they need to or when they want to. But, um, you know, they do a nice job, both sides of the ball. They, they do a nice job. It's, a, you know, been a good FCS program. Have they had injuries? Is that why they've tailed off? I think just competition, you know, they've been tough in every game. You lost one in overtime and, uh, you know, that they probably shouldn't have lost. And then all the other ones have been really close games. It's just, uh, you know, not making a play at the end, but they've been in every game. It's been the one since you've had a home game, Peter, just talked about the, it's been a hard stretch and <laughs> you don't want to come back, I guess. Before. Yeah, I mean, it's just the, you know, this is not a schedule conducive to helping your football program. I can tell you that from the, who we've played to how it's set up to the whole thing. But it is what it is. You got to got to play it. So, uh, be good to be back here for two weeks. At least we're not having to travel, and uh, you know that takes some burden off our players uh, being at home. So, you know, hopefully, be good good place to get them to get the first win. Coach, the numbers show if you feel like the defense is starting to make more plays and uh, cause more havoc on defense for the turnovers. Well, we're playing more physical than what we had early in the year, Adam. You know, I think, we, like I said, we really tackled hard and we played hard. Um, you know, we just got overmatched Saturday. We just, you know, we couldn't match the talent of, of an SEC football team. Um, and right now, we're not scoring enough points to help our defense. You know, get off the field and those type of things. So, um, we've made some improvements in some areas, but um, you know, you find out probably a little bit more at the end of this year, these last three games, to see how much improvement we've really made. We've got some good young players that, you know, are showing some things that are going to be, uh, you know, really good players in the future for us. A lot of them in practice that we're redshirting, uh, but some of them we're going to try to get in on special teams. We did a little bit Saturday to, at Ole Miss. Um, Juwan Price was one of those. He had two tackles on the punt team. You know, he's one of our running backs. He's probably the fastest running back we have uh, once Huntley leaves. And uh, so he's got a bright future with him. Think coverage has been better this year, especially the whole season. Kick coverage? Yeah. Yeah, really. Uh, we've been much better in every kicking phase this year, Jack, than what we've been in the past. I think Coach Pence has done a great job, you know, coordinating our special teams. And kickoff return has always been good because of Huntley, but our coverage teams have really improved. You know, we had a couple here at the end of the year. It's been disappointing. Uh, Central Michigan, I think we had a problem there in Georgia Southern one time. But other than that, the rest of the year, we've been really 
you know, effective covering kicks for the first time. I think a little bit of that is a talent level too. We got you know more talent out there, some more speed covering kicks. Um, but again, Coach Pence uh, has done a good job coordinating that. You mentioned the last three games. I mean, it seems like you have a chance to like really evaluate like where you're at, where where you're at going into the off season and, and go on a high note. Is that is that how you look at it? Or? Well, hope so. You know, we'd like to just get that monkey off our back and get a win. But um, you know, honestly, right now we got so. I'm just telling you, we are a depleted football team right now. So I, I mean, I can't even tell you who's going to practice today, to be honest with you. So um, we got some issues going into this week in particular, coming out of the Ole Miss game, as far as who's going to be able to play. And I know there's probably five guys that are not practicing today that we're hoping are going to be able to play. Um, so I don't know what we're going to see. You know, I know we're going to play hard and we're going to fight hard, but uh, you know, that's it's taken a lot out of us here. You said you didn't want to talk specifically. Is it, is it on defensive side of the ball? It's both. Oh, it's both sides. Yeah. Ken, Danny, any questions for Coach? Yeah. Uh, right after here, I have some some guys out. Obviously, how how many guys would you guess might play this weekend that really haven't had a chance to play up till now? Uh, there'll be probably three or four that'll play this week that, that haven't been playing. Um, I don't know, depending on how, you know, how practice goes and all that uh, with these other guys that are, that are injured and how much they can practice, we'll, we'll know a little bit more later. Sure. These are guys that are fresh by that you can still redshirt, right? Yeah, yeah. We're still planning on redshirting. All the guys that we wanted to redshirt, we're still going to redshirt no matter what it cost us this year. We're not going to burn a kid's redshirt. Uh, for any of these games.